So we're in the uh, in the basement with the lathe room. Uh, just picked up a tiny little air compressor for uh, 60 bucks from auction. Uh, it didn't run very well, so we had to uh, change the oil. I blew out all the little metal dust because somebody ran it with no oil. But it's a okay little compressor. Uh, does go up to 160 or 150 psi, so it's okay. Anyway. Uh, the video today is about our lighting system. This is a television set. Um, this is a LED light, uh, which we use from a TV. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to get all blown out, but uh, as you can see, it's an RCA television. Um, we get these for about six bucks or so, mm, sometimes 12, sometimes 15, but it makes for amazing lighting source. So let me turn it off and it's all right. Um, I just literally have the TV hooked up as a TV. So when you turn it on, TV engages, and then it uh, fires, boom. The problem is, is this TV only runs for about 15 minutes. So you constantly have to push the button and push the button and push the button and it keeps turning off. And that is very annoying, uh, especially if you're running the lathe and you got something on the go and you're trying to pay attention the light turns off all of a sudden boom you can't see what you're doing so that's really annoying i don't know if anybody has a solution for that um i tried plugging something into the usb port uh, i think it'll just turn off if it doesn't have a tv signal uh we don't have cable here um it's expensive you don't get any channels so we don't bother i don't know it doesn't have an hdmi port it's pretty dumb tv um it's a just a low low quality one we got a whole bunch more over here uh, to use. Um, we got a turn on lights. Okay, that's much better. So uh, I've collected a couple because we're going to change all the lights in our garage. So I've got a couple of 30s, a couple of, I think these are all 42s. Now that's the inside layers. You see all the nice LEDs. And you got the diffuser, and a lot of these have a Fresnel lens. Um, those, I think, are all 32s. That's a 40. And then this, I think, is a 45. And then that's a 55 Samsung. I'm actually using that for photography. Um, I was using the uh, ball slides for something. Um, yeah, so the only problem is... I don't feel like driving these off of my own driver. I want to use the internal boards and um, it's a little annoying. Um, they all turn off after a while. Even the, the Samsung, um, when I turn the Samsung on, it does its little a button. Can't find a spot, I need some flour. So turns on, does a little boot sequence, turns on and off. Um, and then gets bright again and uh, provides a ton of light like it illuminates very 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 well the area um, probably twice as much light as the little temporary fluorescent lights we have set up but it illuminates the area quite well um, only problem is is again this one also whoops this one also uh, turns off after like 15 minutes of being on I think that's just because it doesn't have a, it might be because it doesn't have a, a, a LCD on it anymore, because uh, then we just cut the LCD off and then remove it, uh, or it might be because it's not getting any signal. Um, we have the identical TV that actually functions upstairs, so I might try unplugging everything, turn it on and see if it turns itself off. But I don't know, yeah, it's a nice little TV, uh, very diffused light, very, very nice light. It's like having soft boxes everywhere. Um, you make a wall of lights and just make like a, a fake um, daylight. Well, if you're in Norway, you might. <laughs> We're good. We get lots of sun. So, uh, yeah, so that one turned off already. That's off now. I'm a little confused. Don't know quite what to make of it. Um, I wish somebody would uh, tell me the nose a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Bye.